गुड आफ्टरनून एवरी वन आई अभिषेक नाम दे वेलकम्स टू योर गोल्ड अकेडमी क्लासेस सो लेट एस स्टार्ट विद ए न्यू चैप्टर चैप्टर फिफ्टीन विच इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग थ्री डी इन टू डी सो एज ए वी हैव ऑलरेडी लर्न अबाउट दिस चैप्टर इन क्लास सेवेंथ सो नाउ लेट एस टेक ए ब्रीफ एक्सप्लेनेशन अगेन इन क्लास एट्थ सो दिस इज योर चैप्टर लेट एस स्टार्ट विद द डेफिनेशन फर्स्ट and the definition of uh, solid figures are every uh, every solid figures has four different views uh, the first is top view front view side view and slant view so <coughs> as you can see i have drawn a glass mug so this is the front view of glass mug and if i look uh, from side of this glass then it will look like this and if i look on the glass on top then the top view will be look like this so let us take one more example this is a cube uh, cuboidal box this is the top front this is the front view and this is the side view if i look this box from here then the box will look like like this and if i look the box from side then <clears throat> the box will look like this and if i look the box from the top then the box will look like this fine so for example the 3d objects uh, ball cap book hat duster chalk glass led tv <coughs> these all are the 3d objects so let us consider some 3d shapes and we will try to understand the face edge and vertex of all these objects so let us start with the first 3d shape that is cube ye sab humne already 7th class mein already pad chuke hain bas just we are taking a brief explanation okay so cube uh, this is the cube and we can see that there are six faces 1 2 3 4 5 and then the back side six so this is face the number of faces in cube are six the number of edges in cube are 12 and the number of vertex these are the vertex 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 these are the vertex okay do you know what is face what is uh, what is edge and what is vertex the definition of face the flat surface of any object is called face and what is edge where two or more surface meet together that line is said to be edge again i am repeating my definition where the two surface or more surface meet together that line is said to be edge and what is vertex the corner point of edge is where two or more edges meet together that corner point is said to be edge so you should know about the definition of face edge and vertex you will write all these three definition in your fair notebook so and the euler's formula for cuboid is 6 which is face vertex which is 8 8 and 6 14 and 14 minus 12 2 the next figure is cone this is the shape of cone as we can see that there is one surface only one surface so there is one surface and one vertex but there is no edge so we will apply the formula of euler's formula the face the value of face is 1 the value of vertex is 1 and minus 0 the answer is 2 that means it is verified next shape the um, uh, cylinder there is two face but no vertex and no edges so we will apply the formula then we can see that the answer is 2 the next figure is pyramid So let us start with the first pyramid that is said to be triangular base pyramid. 
तो कुछ लोगों को पिरामिड बनाने में हमेशा प्रॉब्लम होती है तो पिरामिड बनाने के लिए मैं एक इजी मेथड बता दूँ जैसे आपको ट्रैंगुलर बेस पिरामिड बनाना है दैट मीन्स आपको एक ट्रैंगल बनाना है पहले अब इस ट्रैंगल के बाद आप कहीं भी एक पॉइंट ले लीजिए जहाँ पर आपका मन करे अब इस पॉइंट से सभी ट्राइंगल्स के वर्टेक्स को आप मिला दो दैट्स इट दिस इज योर ट्राइंगुलर बेस पिरामिड सो द नंबर ऑफ फेसेस इन ट्राइंगुलर बेस पिरामिड आज फोर वर्टेक्स फोर एज फोर यूलर फॉर्मूला वेरीफाइड नेक्स्ट इज स्क्वायर बेस पिरामिड द फेस इज फाइव वर्टेक्स फाइव एज एट सो द यूलर फॉर्मूला वेरीफाइड नेक्स्ट द पेंटेगन पिरामिड The faces are six, vertex are six, edges are ten. So you can see. <coughs> If suppose I have to draw hexagon pyramid, hexagon pyramid. So pyramid बनाने का सबसे आसान तरीका. आपको hexagon pyramid बनाना. That means what you will do. आपने एक हेक्सागन बनाया नाउ इस आउटसाइड एक्सटीरियर में कोई भी एक पॉइंट ले लूँगा और इस हेक्सागन की पिरामिड की हर वर्टेक्स को इस पॉइंट से जोन कर दूँगा दिस इज हेक्सागन पिरामिड सो द नंबर ऑफ फेसेस आर सेवन नंबर ऑफ वर्टेक्स आर सेवन And ages are fourteen. <coughs> And ages are twelve. So not fourteen. This is twelve. So Euler's formula: F plus V minus E <coughs> faces seven plus seven minus twelve. Fourteen minus twelve. That is. Two. So this is the Euler's formula for hexagon pyramid. Now today I will introduce a short trick to find face, vertex, and edge in any type of pyramid. <coughs> and the formula is face is equal to side plus one, vertex equal to side plus one, and edge is equal to side multi two. For example, if I find, <coughs> if I want to find Number of faces, edges, and vertex in pentagon pyramid. In pentagon pyramid, <coughs> then the faces are uh, in pentagon pyramid. There are five side because pentagon means five side polygon. So number of faces will be five plus one six. Vertex will be side plus one. That is that means five plus one six. And h five multi two that is ten. If I want to find uh, face base, uh, face vertex and h in octagon pyramid, then the number of side in octagon octagon figure that is eight. So face will be eight plus one that is nine. Vertex will be eight plus one that is nine, and the h will be eight multi two that is sixteen. And you can <coughs> you can see the Euler's formula verified for the both. If I verify the Euler's formula, f plus v minus e, nine plus nine minus sixteen, that is eighteen minus sixteen, that is two. That means hence verified. Now let us move to the next uh, figure, that is prism. So there are lot of types of prism. The first is square prism, which is said to be cube. So uh, we have already learnt about the cube. The second is rectangular prism that is said to be cuboid. This is cuboid. And the third one is triangular prism. So prism बनाने के लिए भी बहुत ही एक easy trick है. आपको triangular prism बनाना है that you will draw a triangle here and a triangle here. आपको दो triangle बनाने हैं और उनकी vertex को आपस में join कर दो. तो ये आपका किसी भी type का pyramid बन जाएगा. Faces are five, vertex are six, and edges are nine. Euler's formula verified. Up <coughs> को अब अब if suppose मुझे uh, hexagon pyramid बनाना है. So what I will do? I will just draw a hexagon here, and I will draw a hexagon here. 
then I will join all the vertex this is your hexagon pyramid so <coughs> the next is pentagon pyramid same as I have drawn a pentagon here a pentagon here then I will I have joined all the vertex number of faces are 7 vertex are 10 and ages are 15 and this is the Euler's formula short trick to find face vertex edge in any type of prism so first of all we should know about uh, uh, the shape the name of shapes and the number of sides in each shapes like uh, a triangle has three sides square and rectangle has four sides that means equilateral have four sides a pentagon has five sides hexagon at six heptagon seven octagon eight nanogon nine and the decagon ten so the short trick to find face vertex edge in any type of face is the face equal to side plus two vertex equal to side multi two and edge equal to side multi three for example if i want to know hexagon pyramid so this is your hexagon pyramid so face will be side plus two that means six plus two eight is face vertex will be side multi two that means six multi two twelve and age will be side multi three that is six multi three eighteen and here the euler's formula so this is uh, your chap um, this was your chapter 15 uh, representation 3d figures in 2d so this is your hw the homework is write all the theoretical part in your fair notebook of chapter 15 so will you will copy from the video or you can download from the website in the theoretical part solve exercise 15.1 by your own make a activity on isometric paper in class 7th i have studied uh, i have i have taught you what is isometric paper uh, draw the following 3d figures in this paper cube cuboid cone cylinder triangular triangular prism pentagon and hexagon prism etc now see what is isometric paper you can draw isometric paper by your own in page num on page number 251 there is an example <coughs> of isometric this is your so you have to <coughs> you have to follow all these steps and you will try to understand this is your isometric paper so make activity and try to draw all these all these 3d figures in isometric paper till then stay home stay safe thank you